Something about the girl that just makes my head wanna twirl. Oh, you got me want to tell all them other girls. There's nothing else better on this world. The moment I seen her, I was in shock. So shocked you Officer Decker to Blade Runner hunting down replicants. Your chief tells you that the robots have been spotted in a club in downtown Los Angeles. So you had looking for them. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your girlfriend, Sharon. <laughs> what? <laughs> when you arrive at the club, it's packed with people dancing and having fun. You see several replicants there as well, but they don't seem to be doing anything except staring around nervously. So, uh, is it. Is, uh. Is it no. Do you know that Rick Grimes is. Is, is screwing with Sharon? No, I'll find out later. Oh, okay, so this is like a plot point that's going to come in later. I see. You're, you're, you've got quite the writer's mind. Thank you. Go to the bartender and say, Hey, have you seen any of them goofy replicants around? <laughs> 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 we're going to talk like a 40s, uh, or a 40s detective. Okay. <laughs> have you seen any of those <laughs> goofy replicants from running amok? Yeah, I think they're in here, says the bartender. You turn to oh. look at him, then back at the crowd of people. The bartender's clearly not expecting you to ask such a question. I got a nickel for you if you can point him out to me, coin, coin, point Dexter. <laughs> and the bartender says, why are you talking like that? <laughs> Whatever, point. Yeah, point Dexter. And the bartender looks surprised by this <laughs> remark. He turns his attention away from the crowd and starts talking about something else. Grab his collar and say, hey, bud, I ain't messing around. I'm a cop, you see? We're, 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 we're one of them really dirty cops. We don't mess around. My God. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> This guy's horrible. I don't like Deckard in this movie. He's Mel Gibson. You grab the barman's collar and start yanking on it. What the hell are you doing? What do you want from me? He asks. I need some money for my girl. So can you please let her go? You demand. <laughs> what? Uh, throw bartender aside and rob the cash register. <laughs> uh, being a Blade Runner doesn't pay well. <laughs> You pull out your pistol and fire no! a shot into the register. <laughs> a couple of bullets hit it before it falls over. You take off your belt and put it around the cash register, pulling I... out a wad of bills and stuffing them <laughs> in your back pocket. Yell, warriors rise up and waddle out, <laughs> waddle out of the club with your pants full of cash. <laughs> 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 you run out of the bar with your pants full of money and shouting, Warriors, rise up! You walk outside where you continue to shout, Warriors, rise up! You get a few stares from other humans, but nobody tries to stop or harm you. Uh, uh, run home and walk in on Sharon with Rick Grimes. You decide to run home and tell Sharon everything. She doesn't believe you, but she goes along with it anyway. A uh, Rick Grimes walks in from bedroom, and you gasp. Who is this fella? And what is he doing in my home? No, 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 no. It's gonna go somewhere you don't want to. We'll see. <laughs> hey, who is this fella in my house with my wife? You got some explaining to do there, sir. I'm talking like that guy from Miller's Crossing. The guy who was always balding. His fancy pants, all his. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, no! What? It's He's a man of the times. Oh. <laughs> it's 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Grimes comes walking in the bedroom naked. He sees Sharon and begins yelling at her. Sharon, who the hell are you? 
Who are you going to call the man who just came in here like that? I told you to leave when you were drunk last night. Oh. Say, have you been freaking my wife? Have you been freaking my wife? And uh, beat Rick Grimes senseless. Who even is Rick Grimes? <laughs> Rick from The Walking Dead. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> the other cop. <laughs> no! Okay, now it's, it's all clicking. I was like, is Rick Grimes a singer or something? <laughs> Spit in the air and swallow it while beating him up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been getting all freaking fricked up in my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever oh taken a lick of her or even touched her body parts without permission? Do you know how much trouble I could oh get my myself gosh. into? If oh my gosh! Finds is out? is Rick Grimes? Oh no, I lost. I, oh my gosh! Is uh is Rick Grimes a replicant? Do do the test on Rick Grimes to see if he's a replicant. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 is he the thing? Will do you last? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! You get hot copper wire and poke Rick's blood. You do so and hear a screeching sound. You take the copper wire and wrap it around your hands. <laughs> Putting it inside <laughs> the hole in Rick's chest, <laughs> you scream, Pick me up, bitch! <laughs> Rick Grimes' face opens up, revealing many teeth. He is the thing. You pick him up and toss him on the floor. You throw Rick Grimes into the wall, breaking it. You look at your hands and see that they've oh. turned black and rotten looking. You try oh to eat gosh. them. You try to eat your hands? Oh, he gosh. He feels sick and vomit instead. Oh, Rick Grimes jumps out the window and your wife screams as you melt. This is, like a hor this is scary. <laughs> this is horrible. Now we got a thing and replicants on the loose. You jump out the window. Oh and my scream. gosh. The next day you wake up in the hospital. No idea what happened. The doctors think it's possibly radiation poisoning, but there isn't any way to be sure until you're able to talk again. Look at doctor and notice that he's Rick Grimes. It's all coming together. <laughs> you were it's like the double. You were asleep this whole time. Oh god. You look at no. the doctor and notice he's exactly like Rick Grimes. You then realize you're actually a human being now. Not some mutant monster So wait, we're, we were the thing? I guess probably. so. I'm sorry, sorry about all this. You, what for? Uh, he cuts off your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, well, I mean you killed me after all, but <laughs> I was right about one thing. What? Sharon walks in and kisses Rick, and they uh, both stab you repeatedly. <laughs> They both stab me repeatedly as Huey Lewis in the news plays. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what the hell is going on? Doctor. <laughs> oh, come on, it's obvious you were infected by the virus after oh, all. Oh, no! Realize I am Matt Damon. It's coming full circle, bro. No, I don't remember anything about that. I was just an ordinary guy. Chills shows up and starts recording a new Top 15. <laughs> Top 15 viruses. <laughs> <laughs> Top 15 Matt Damon moments. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chills. Hey, did you want to play some music? Sure. Okay, here we go. You start playing a song which causes Chills to suddenly turn into Matt Damon. Oh my gosh, she's infected. He then proceeds to sing along with the song. <laughs> karaoke. How do you spell karaoke? I don't know. Care, carry on my way with uh, Karaoke. <laughs> karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> karaoke with Chills, who is also Matt Damon. Chills. <laughs> that's Wait, funny. No. Haha, that's funny. Thanks for letting me join in on the fun. So how'd you end up like this? So well, one lung. day, <laughs> <laughs> my lung collapsed when I was in a horrific car accident, and now I always talk like this. It's very infuriating when people make fun of me, but I don't care because I'm famous and have billions of dollars. I swallowed a grape. <laughs> I swallowed a grape when I didn't have any teeth. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Let me get you one. <laughs> what does that even mean? We'll see. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it was a long story. That's really weird. I thought you were dead. Bills fades. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Chills fades. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems like you had a pretty interesting life. You're glad you survived. Yeah, I guess so. But why am I talking to myself? <laughs> Everything disappears and Chills is sitting in his room. This is all a Chills fever dream. <laughs> oh, what happened? Everything disappeared and I was sitting in my... Uh oh, I think it's kind of broken. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed <a> great... <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? My lungs were filled with grapes. They turned me into a grape. You died. Game over. Great. Okay, restart. Oh my gosh. You're Louis C.K. on the way home from seeing the cake boss, Buddy Velastro. <laughs> Joe Gatto hovers over everything. As you're on the train, you see, you see a small goblin hanging on the side, pulling on the wires. You start to get worried. Hey, Joe, you there? I think that little guy's going to fall off, you shout. <laughs> lols and picks up the goblin with his ginormous hands don't don't hurt him joe joe looks at you and smiles he reaches out his hand and grabs the goblin by the scruff of its neck <laughs> <laughs> the goblin falls backwards onto the tracks but not before joe has pulled it back up again good boy he says as he walks away from you <laughs> joe's just a goof um uh notice uh Mer, uh, Sal, and Q, in uh, in the other in another seat across from you. What the hell is this? You say. Joe turns around and grins. This is my little friend <laughs> Mer, Sal, and Q. <laughs> Mer, Sal, and Q are dressed in all dressed in black leather outfits with red hoods over their heads. <laughs> uh, you notice they're chanting something in Latin, and you get scared. Uh, you look up at Joe and say, Are they in the comedian cult? Joe looks at you and laughs. No, no, no. They're just kids who like to play pranks on me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Sal oh comes over God. to you and starts talking into your earpiece. <laughs> I've got something for you, kid. It's a joke about some clown. Oh my God, it's Joker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do, Zach. You know exactly what to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> hey, Murray. Go. <laughs> Didn't they do a punishment where one of them was a clown? Yeah. Pull out your pistol and point it at Joe. No, not at Joe. Look, kid, if you ever do anything like that again, I'm going to blow your <laughs> brains out. Joe stares at you for the moment, then nods. He puts down his bag and walks towards you. Okay. Uh, Jim Carrey walks in with a creepy smile. Says, Are you Louis C.K. from the famous movie Secret Life of Pets? <laughs> Heard about the whole thing about that article that's like Idris Elba from Cats has coronavirus. And everyone's like, really? Cats is gonna be the movie. That's what he's known for. <laughs> yeah. Louis C.K. walks in with that no. creepy smile. Yeah, yeah, what's up, kid? You shoot him in the <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> him instantly. No! Louis! Jim Carrey laughs, and then uh, Sarah Silverman walks in and screams. He's like, there's been a murder on the Orient Express! You walk in see Jim Carrey. No, Jim Carrey's <laughs> dead! <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> Sarah Silverman stands there screaming her head off. She runs over to you and hugs you tightly. You kiss her back. Then what she the pulls you close and whispers in your I love you. Throw her from the train. <laughs> Throw her from the train. Say you're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> the midnight <laughs> meat train. <laughs> you know funny. <laughs> you know funny. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bradley Cooper <laughs> stares on in horror. You grab Sarah and throw her off the meat train. She lands hard on the ground. You turn around and walk away from Sarah, saying, You no funny. You no funny. <laughs> Sarah walks over to you and punches you in the jaw. You scream out in pain, falling backwards onto the track. Gerard yeah, DiCaprio lays down next to you and starts saying, You're waiting for a train. You don't know. You don't know what it's. <laughs> DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio (laughs) gets decapitated. (laughs) Decapitated. (laughs) Decapitated. What does that even mean? Oh my gosh. Oh. You're Leo, sitting in the bar watching the world go by. Suddenly you hear a loud noise and feel an immense pressure coming from your chest. You try to breathe through it, but nothing works. It feels like something is squeezing every last drop of air out of you. Um. Realize uh, you're watching ants. <laughs> I was going to say, turn around and see Joseph Gordon-Levitt choking the life out of you. <laughs> and says, we need to go further. Inception! Inception to electric boogaloo! Uh. Turn around and see Gordon Levitt choking. <laughs> you struggle to get free of him, but he keeps holding you down. A uh, Maul comes in and, uh, and tickles him. Uh, Joseph laughs and runs out of the room. Jogo comes in and begins ticking, tickling Maul. Maul laughs hysterically, running out of the room laughing. Joseph goes back to sobbing uncontrollably. <laughs> you sit alone in the dark room thinking oh about how you want to die. <laughs> Damn. Um, what celebrity should walk in and cheer him up? Ellen. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres walks in and cracks a joke about depression. Ellen DeGeneres walks in and smiles at you. Hey, kid, what's wrong? What happened? You tell her everything. <laughs> Ellen giggles and says, Oh my god, that was so funny. Um, uh, Mark Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg kicks in the door, hits Ellen with a belt. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's funny. Oh, oh my throat hurts. <laughs> oh my gosh! Mark Wahlberg walks in the room, hitting Ellen <laughs> in the face with a belt. He yells, <laughs> "You know, funny!" as he kicks her in the side of the head. <laughs> Ellen falls backwards and crumples to the floor. Mark turns around and walks out of the room laughing. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Donnie Wahlberg comes in and drags Ellen's body out. <laughs> I don't know what Donnie Wahlberg looks like. He looks like oh. Mark, but like 60 years old. <laughs> you wake up in a cold sweat. You look around and see that you're what? naked. There's a hole cut out of the wall where the wall used to be, and you can see inside. I uh, uh, see Hideo Kojima making PT. <laughs> You enter the room and see Hideo Kojima making Silent Hills while listening to Death Grips and Psy. He looks at you and asks, What do you think? You reply, It's creepy as hell. Never, never believe that. <laughs> Tell him uh, the world is not ready for that game. Pick Super Monkey Ball instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good alternative. <laughs> Hideo Kojima nods his head and tells you, Yeah, I know, I'll make Super Monkey Ball instead. You nod yeah, your head and leave. the trailer park. <laughs> a car drives past you, screeching to a halt behind you. Brie Larson steps out of the car with a, with a bunch of, uh, bunch of uh, FBI agents and says, Where is Hideo Kojima? Brie Larson steps out of the car with a bunch of FBI agents, asking, Where is Hideo Kojima? They all point their guns at you and shout, Whoa there, whoa Whoa. there, we don't want to shoot you. Uh, 
He he's in Japan making Super Monkey Ball. It's just me and Guillermo del Toro. They all laugh and walk away. <laughs> You continue on your way until you reach a small town called Silent Hill. Oh, the streets are empty, oh no. save for the occasional zombie or two. You pass by an abandoned, an old abandoned house which has been converted into a bar called the Lost Highway Inn. Uh, go into the inn, um, see uh, Norman Reedus. All oh, what's that say? All sweaty. All sweaty. <laughs> you enter the bar and see Norman Reedus all sweaty. He grabs a beer from the fridge and pours some out for you. <laughs> you take it and start drinking. Suddenly, you feel like vomiting, but then realize this is probably because of alcohol poisoning. So you keep <laughs> drinking! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. What? What? Uh. Um. Zombie walks in, uh, grabs a beer. <laughs> a zombie walks in and grabs a Bud Light. It chugs down half of it before <laughs> falling back asleep. You finish your drink and get up off the couch, heading towards the kitchen to grab something to eat. Um, notice the ring girl, uh, vibrating in a chair. <laughs> vibing in a chair! <laughs> you notice the ring girl vibing in a chair. She notices you looking and smiles. You smile back before leaving the place. Mr. Rossetti, uh, uh, climbs out of a manhole all dirty and says, I'm here to help you survive Silent Hill! Climb out of a manhole and run to the nearby street. You see a police officer driving a patrol car. He waves over you over. You follow him in as he follows the same route you did earlier. You arrive at a parking lot near an abandoned building. Um, <clears throat> Max Payne steps out of the cop car. As, uh... I saw a dumb-looking guy, uh, approach my car. Uh, it's like the Max Payne from Stupid Mario Brothers. I want to tell him I was born ready, but that would be too cliché. So I simply answer, yeah, I'm ready. I want to tell him the deals are for Best Buy, but I choose less cheesy words. Maybe you can go to hell! His clothes were in tatters and he looked very confused. I laughed, saying to myself, ah, easy prey. <laughs> oh. I think it finally crashed. No, it works. No. Wait, yeah! scroll down. Did it? T did it say anything? No, not yet. Loading anymore? I no. think it finally crashed. <laughs> it's loading. You poop. <laughs> okay, I think that's the end. All right. Alcohol and what? Call and shack poisoning? Yes. What does that even mean? Too much shack. <laughs> <laughs> he watched Kazam one too many times. <laughs> one time's enough. One <laughs> time! <laughs> you decide to kill yourself with alcohol and shack poisoning. You put on a pair of sweatpants <laughs> and throw them out the wall. Then you throw a hoodie and <laughs> a sweatshirt up over it. Die. You die. Your body is found several days later after the zombies have overrun the city. Okay. Wow. That was what beautiful. A, that was very, very good. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Look at the blue feet! Look at the blue feet! How, how much does it weigh? Ah! Ignore phone call, go to weekend's concert, and trade uh, Opal for his hair. <laughs>